Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lily here this morning with a haul to tell you guys about where I picked up these super cute bags you guys saw me post on Instagram last night. And then I have some things from Tuesday morning I wanted to show you guys. You will hear my little rascals back there getting crazy because it seems like whenever I go to film, they cannot help themselves. But anyways, let's get started with the things I picked up from Marshalls. So the first thing I found at Marshalls, and I could not just pass it up, was this super cute card. Remind me of my honey bunny. It says, we go together, and it's a cute little milk and a cookie, and their faces are so adorable. And then when I looked at the back to see how much it was... I was like, 70 cents, that's a must-have. I'm not leaving here without this. Even if I don't use the card, I will definitely cut these little guys out and use them for something. I thought they were too adorable to leave, so I did pick those up, and I couldn't find any more like that at all. I was looking for those little mini envelopes and little sets that I've seen a few of you guys haul from Marshalls. I did find them. I found um, this set here, it says Simple Stories for $1.99 and it's um, basically all of this stuff back here. These little file folders open up, they're so cute. So you can use them as cards or I was thinking they'd probably be perfect and if, if I ever tried to make a flip book, I thought I would use stuff like this because it unfolds and I could put goodies inside and attach them to the bigger flip book. Okay, sorry about that, I had to go do some scolding. So this anyways is a 17 piece set and it's got all these super cute little embellishments and pieces inside of it so I picked that up I think my sister-in-law picked up one too we happened to just find two. Oh, and then this guy here these keeps falling apart also did pick up this set here it is 131 pieces and uh, you guys know obviously I loved it because of that camera right there and then it has cards and little chipboards and then all these little pieces here so on the back, this is what the set is supposed to have while I'm being shot with a toy machine gun. That's extra fun. Um, I don't know why my phone lately hasn't been uh, focusing as great as my iPhone 5, I think, was better about this kind of stuff. But anyways, this is all the pieces it comes with. And this was um, $3.99. And then what I think it was was a way to make a scrapbook uh, from di like a trip to Disneyland or something is what it seems to say. I, I, it focuses around Disneyland stuff, but I definitely will take it apart and use it differently. So if you do find this pack, my, this one was missing pieces, and I think whoever put it back together tried to price things separately, but they didn't realize it was a whole set, so I had to show them that it was supposed to all go together and showed them how it was taped in there, and so they just gave it to me for the one price instead of making me pay for it all these things separately since it goes together so do check to make sure you get all your pieces with these sets and there was one other set there but I did not get that so now is the fun the really fun stuff guys I went in there looking for the pineapple set of these um, bags when I had first seen these I should have bought them and I really liked it and I just passed it because at the time I didn't really have enough money to spend on them so last night I went with my sister in law after we picked her up from work and um, I went, ran in there really quick before I went to the Dollar Tree and I found freaking flamingos with palm trees. How cute is this little cosmetic bag? Not too loud, guys. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. But anyways, I didn't even, I saw it, thought it was so cute. It was the only one, so I just put it in the cart. I love the hot pink and the yellow. And then when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is this when I actually unzipped it? There is a pouch here. And then look at this. Not too many times do you get a cosmetic pouch that has a spot to keep your brushes away from everything so I thought that was a super cool added bonus and even if you don't want to use it for makeup your scissors and other things pens you don't want to get uh, messed up can go in here and fasten down and stay in place if you want to use it for planner supplies or anything like that but I think this one I will definitely use in the summertime for my makeup and then this pouch over here was just a big open pouch so like here I would put pens or here I put all my loose makeup palettes and stuff and then my brushes and then other things like q-tips or my makeup wipes over here on this side so for $12.99 I definitely picked this one up and then guys look at the friggin watermelons yes I was not going to leave without the watermelon bag I thought I deliberated for a second between the flamingos and the watermelon absolutely could not do it and I even told myself even if I found the pineapples I would still have probably bought a pineapple bag so this one this was separate but I put it in there because it fits so perfect um, is another little 
double set here and this guy unzips on both sides and has a little snap in the center so a little sneaky pouch right there just to get I would, I would guess I would use this one for my lipsticks and lip liners for the summer and maybe because it's so soft in there I put my phone in the center or maybe I'll put my make or my uh, wallet and stuff on one side my little card I keep all my debit cards in my phone and then my lipsticks and stuff so, so it's easy to all get to so I definitely pick this guy up and then the big one is just obviously obviously it's just cute it was a must-have I needed it wanted it so it came home with me and these pouches are just identical on both sides they just um, zip and there's just lots of storage in there I don't think this is the only one with an extra little pouch on the side but I don't even know what that would hold I just thought it was too adorable all right now the fart noises are starting give me one second all right guys so the next portion of my video is going to be the things I found last week when I went shopping for my birthday with my sister-in-law from Tuesday morning I did find some washi which I usually never find the washi there and I thought this one was so cute it's like a cork print and it has or not it's like a like stamp print vintage map looking so I definitely picked up that roll of washi the boys are being so crazy right now and then they had put out like little things of maybe someone's close out a uh, little B brands close out of the Halloween washi and I've seen other people haul different ones and we had uh, Different sets of washi at our location. Here's just all the pumpkins. That's super cute for like a Charlie Brown <laughs> Charlie Brown great pumpkin theme or something and then um, Picked up a skinny roll of the black and purple and these were all 99 cents There we go Looks like a sweet spot to get it to actually focus and then this one was just different. It's like paint splats. So I also grabbed that one. Also in the little B brand. I like how they have these little containers. I don't know if I will leave it there, but it does have the little, they do have the little serrated edge there so you can slice the washi off really easily. All right guys, so the next items I picked up were paper stacks and this one is a repurchase, but I just loved all of the papers in the stack so much and I had already used one or actually a couple from in here so I decided to get this one again when I saw it I was so happy to find it again I was like I definitely will purchase this again just to have on hand and at $5.99 it's a steal I love all the summer prints in here you've guys seen me haul this a while ago and just everything in here you can do so many different themes with all the paper in here and especially for summer it's a must-have so if you see this that Tuesday morning I would definitely grab it and this paper stack guys I thought was super cute and unique I had never seen anything like this it says hot buy so maybe this came from Michaels at some point and it was also $5.99 and it is called the teenage dream stack and I freaking love the like skateboard the like urban you know just sneakers and all that I love 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 this I love the little music notes and where is that bottom stack or the bottom paper super duper cute look how cute that is you can cut that up and use that in so many different ways there's two of every one I love the floral print there it's like a dark charcoal with these super cute flowers on it that print is also cute look at this guys like the old school paper we learned how to write our alphabet on the boom boxes that's like a nice just what goes on in my dream when I'm zoning out and there was some graffiti and all this really cool fun stuff so it's it's not just boy related but I could definitely use this to do scrapbooking for the boys or I could use it in something I want to use it for so I thought this was too cute for a $5.99 loved it so definitely pick that paper stack up moving along now that was my what did we have? TJ Maxx and my Tuesday morning haul. I also had some things to share with you from Walmart. Just a couple things, but really cute things I thought were worth sharing because they kind of fit into everything we're all hoarding and hunting right now. So normally, guys, I do not buy my um, swimsuits from Walmart. I usually don't even stop to look, but when I walked by... You know when you walk by all the clothing and you're on your way I was on my way to the toys to look for something for my son he's into some five nights at Freddy's or something I had never heard of so I was looking for anything to do with that but look at this bathing suit guys I had to stop and check it out look at the colors here 
and how this reminds me of like I buy my bathing suits usually from either BB or Victoria's Secret and this to me did not look like a Walmart bathing suit it has the super cute mesh here so it gives your biscuits a little bit more extra coverage but in a way it's also more sexy because even though a normal bathing suit you would see right there anyway this makes you want to see but it covers up and it goes over your cleavage it is super cute and I was able to fit this in a large and didn't need to get an extra large even though it's a juniors bikini and then this is nice and sturdy here well made so when I tried it on make sure it would not be busting open if I were to laugh or <laughs> try to swim in the pool and this is the Ocean Pacific brand and I got the size large and it was $11.84. That was a steal. I was like, this looks like it's definitely something I'd wear. Some hot pink lipstick, one of my little daisy flower crowns, and a cute little cover up and be prancing around the pool in that. And then here is the matching bottom. Bless you. This is also super cute. I like this a lot because it has the hot pink. And then I am a big giant fan of the ruched bottom. If you have a big butt, the ruched bottom is like so amazing because it doesn't like just make like a big tent covering your butt looking horrible. It actually shows that you have some shape to your butt and that goes right down in your, I guess your crack you could say. <laughs> but it, it doesn't like make your butt smash flat because I hate stuff that does that to your butt. I want it to be just big and glorious the way it wants to be. And then I thought this little trim on the side here was too cute. When I tried it on this little ruffle pops out. So I thought that was too cute to pass up. And of course, guys, it's got my neon, purple, the mint. So this was a super cute bathing suit for Walmart. So that was a steal. I had to pick that up, didn't care. Tried it on, it worked, it's so cute. And then I found this little tank top passing by also. And it is, of course, a little pineapple. Now, after I got it and tried it on, I wish I would have got the medium, but at the same time, it's white, so I don't want it to pull too sheer but I did pick up this little white ribbed tank and it's super soft and it was only $3.94. I thought that was also a steal, so I had to pick that up. And then I always do just try my luck at the washi, even though I never get lucky at Walmart, but this time I had found this super cute one with the little neon dots. And this is in the Scotch Expressions tape brand and I did get that from Walmart. And then I found this one I thought was really cute and fun too, so. I picked that one up and there was um, one of little doggies and a couple other ones that were cute but I was just trying to you know not do too bad I, you know I like to spread my money all over and little bits here and there and make it last so I try not to go too crazy in one spot so that for now guys concludes my TJ Maxx my Walmart and my Tuesday morning haul I hope that you guys enjoyed what you saw here and I will see you in the next video with my target dollar spot stuff please comment down below let me know what you think about the things i found or if you have found i've seen a lot of you after i posted my watermelon bags on um instagram going out and hunting them i'm going to go today and hunt for the pineapple ones because i just have to at least have one of those pink blush pink with the gold pineapples i have to have it so i'm gonna find it somewhere but anyways comment down below share the video if you think anybody would like anything you found here i'm trying to make it to 500 subscribers i was trying to make it um by my birthday but that kind of passed but i'm like i think i'm like 40 or 60 subscribers away so anything will help with that i'm gonna have a giveaway once i reach 500 and um don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys with the target dollar spot haul bye guys